Good evening and welcome to the PPW number 508 results show. I am Dirty Dave taking the duties over today for Mr. Rock and Randy and uh, sitting here thinking about the wonderful night of professional wrestling action we just were able to witness. If you are in the Woodstock area, southeast Wisconsin, the Chicagoland area, don't forget you can always come out to Premier Pro Wrestling live in Woodstock. Buy your tickets ahead of time at our website or you can buy them at the door. But come on out because you don't want to miss the action like we had tonight. It was a great night that started off with a grudge match between two of the best competitors in Premier Pro Wrestling. The Challenge Pro Champion, the relentless Jay Leon, took on the man he took the belt from just a few short weeks ago. That is Jesse Danger. A short match to start things off. It was a 10-minute time limit. And as we found out, those 10 minutes were not enough. After a chaotic sequence at the end with pinfall attempts, it ended up being a 10-minute time limit limit draw between the two competitors these are two men who are very evenly matched and have been able to get the best of each other in recent weeks but this time around the the spoils were to be shared as the two men fought to a draw following that match was the third rookie rumble this time it was fought in a gauntlet style meaning two men in the ring at any given time after an elimination another man would jump into the ring we had everything in this match. It started off with a quick elimination before we had a, an acapella masked singer. We had the new and improved Charlie Hustle in the ring. We had uh, Dayton Perilli coming out last to face Los Lobos 2. It was down to those two men with an opportunity to take on Marcus the Science Smith in a singles match to continue their climb up the card. It was Los Lobos 2 who got the victory again this week, his second straight victory in the Rookie Rumble. Last week, it earned him an opportunity against Matty Ice, Matt Vine. This week, he took on Marcus Smith immediately following his victory in the Rookie Rumble. And this match saw a back-and-forth action. Marcus, the science smith, had control for a lot of it, but we saw a great run at the end. By Los Lobos 2. Unfortunately, the new and improved Charlie Hustle showed why he's improved. He got himself involved in the finish and helped Marcus Smith get a victory over his masked opponent, giving him a victory just one night after losing the King of the Iron Man. He set himself up in a good position uh, to continue getting back towards his golden ways. One of the things you can always expect at PPW are great matches to decide number one contenders. And tonight, we got to see the relentless Jay Leon take on El Guerrero Jose Acosta with a spot in the championship match in coming weeks against the Aztec Monster Humek for the PPW Heavyweight Championship. And boy, oh boy, this one was back and forth. Both men had moments of brilliance, and it ended on a knee to the head by Jose Acosta. He got the 1-2-3 on Jay Leon, and he is going to get another chance at Humec. He is going to get another chance at becoming a seven-time Premier Pro Wrestling heavyweight champion. This match lasted just over 20 minutes. Jay Leon looked like he may have had it won after a flurry, but a few knees were enough to get Jose Acosta the victory and another shot after the last two weeks where he felt he was screwed out of opportunities at the PPW Championship. He is now going to get another chance at a future date. We had another number one contenders match to go right after this, and it was a triple threat match. The winner was going to get an opportunity at the Challenge Pro Championship. It was Rockstar Rosie, the new king of the Iron Man, looking to add another singles belt to his collection. Badass Brandon Campbell and Marcus Smith all had an opportunity to get themselves a shot at the relentless Jay Leone. It was a 25-minute match, and it was 
back and forth. All three men looked like they had opportunities to get the win. And at the very end, with all three men down, Brandon Campbell got to his feet, made a couple of explosive moves to get the advantage. And just when you thought he was going to have the opportunity to win the match, he gets thrown over the top rope. Of course, Challenge Pro rules state that over the top rope, both feet hitting the floor is grounds for a losing effort. And so Brandon Campbell was eliminated, but he was eliminated by both Rockstar Rosie and Marcus Smith. So the commissioner, the man in charge, the patriarch, Rock and Randy said, no, both men were going to move on to face Jay Leone next week for the Challenge Pro Championship. You can see that match live Saturday night in Woodstock. The only thing left was the main event, and it was two monsters going at it. It was Psycho Spawn 1 against the PPW champion, the Aztec monster, Humek in a non-title match. These were just two Goliaths going at it. The sociopath Psycho Spawn, fresh out of the asylum, was going after Humek, used his power, used his speed, and used that ill mind of his to make devious distractions and get an edge. He controlled a lot of the match. Humek got an edge and eventually hit a gigantic splash on Psycho Spawn. We and the arena thought it was going to be a 1-2-3. But Psycho Spawn's brother, the second Psycho Spawn, came to the ring to end the match with a disqualification. They continued an assault on Humek, beating him down until maybe the most unlikely hero in the history of Premier Pro Wrestling hit the ring as El Guerrero Jose Acosta made the save, attacking the Psycho Spawns with a steel chair and facing right up to Humek, dropping the chair and offering a hand for one week only to team up and take on the two psychopaths. After thinking about it and and thinking about their Aztec heritage they both share, Humek agreed, setting up An explosive, incredible tag team match for next Saturday night. It will be the PPW champion, the Aztec monster, Humek, and El Guerrero Jose Acosta, the number one contender for Humek's championship, taking on the two psycho spawns. That match happens next week along with Triple Threat Challenge Pro Championship match and we will also see the Premier Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champions, the Sons of Thunder, Badass Brandon Campbell, and Heavy Metal Jake Hazard taking on Marcus Smith and his protege, the new and improved Charlie Hustle. You can see all this action and more live on Saturday night, 7 o'clock bell time, 7.30. The festivities will start. For all of PPW, we'd like to thank you for your attendance and your support. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook, on TikTok, on Twitter. Don't forget to go to our website to get information on future shows. And visit us at Pro Wrestling Tees for your favorite wrestlers merchandise to be worn at our live recordings. For the rest of the Premier Pro Wrestling team, I'm Dirty Dave and I am out.